Hi guys, in this video we'll be exploring Newton's Universal Law of Gravitation. This is an introductory video just to give you an idea of what the law is all about. So stay tuned. Newton's Universal Law of Gravitation talks about a gravitational force. Before we get into the law, what is a gravitational force? Gravitational force is simply a pulling force that exists between any two objects that have mass. So let's say I'm holding this pen here. There is a gravitational force between me and the pen. I am pulling the pen with a certain gravitational force and the pen is also pulling me with the same magnitude of gravitational force. So gravitational force exists between anything and everything that has mass. There's a gravitational force between me and the pen, between me and the table, between me and the mic, anything that has mass can exert a gravitational force on another object that has mass. The magnitude of the forces are the same. So think about this pen. This pen is exerting a gravitational force on the earth and the earth is exerting the same gravitational force on the pen. But why is it when I release the pen, why does the pen drop to the earth and not the earth move towards the pen? Try to figure out the answer and comment below. This formula is an expression of Newton's universal law of gravitation. Let's look at it one by one. So F here represents the gravitational force. F is equals to G M M over R squared. What is the G? G is the gravitational constant. It is a fixed value. It does not change. The M's represent the mass of the body. So remember gravitational force is between two bodies. So for example, look at the picture on the right. So here we have M1 is the mass of the smaller object here and M2 is the mass of the bigger object. Of course, it doesn't matter which one you assign M1 and M2. Anything can be M1 or M2. And then we have R. R here, do not get confused with radius. R is not the radius. R is the distance between the center of the two bodies. That means from the center of one object, to the center of the other object. This is R. So this formula is an expression of Newton's universal law of gravitation. But what does the law actually state? There are two things. The first thing is that the gravitational force between two bodies is directly proportional to the product of masses of the two bodies. That means that the gravitational force is directly proportional to m1 multiplied by m2. What is the implication of this? When m1 increases, then the gravitational force will increase as well. The same goes to m2. If m2 increases, then the gravitational force will increase as well. So the larger the mass of the two bodies, the higher the gravitational force between the two bodies. In the same way, the lower the mass of the two bodies, the lower the gravitational force between the two bodies. The second thing is that the gravitational force between the two bodies is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the centers of the two bodies. So the distance between the centers of the two bodies is represented by R and the gravitational force is inversely proportional to R squared. This means that when R is reduced, when the distance between the two centers of the object becomes smaller, the gravitational force will become stronger. And when the distance between the two objects becomes larger, when the object moves further apart, then the gravitational force between the two objects will become weaker. That's it for the intro guys. Look out for the video where I do application of Newton's uh, law of gravitation. If you've learned something today, please hit the like button to support me and subscribe if you still haven't subscribed. See you in the next video.